Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Bass and Into the Tarot. And in this reading, I'm taking a look at Pisces Love Life for July 21st to the 27th. But remember, my readings are timeless and time is fluid, okay? And if you would like to book a personal reading with me, the link to my website can be found in the description box below, but also pinned at the top of the comments, bassandintuitivetarot.com. And if you feel like you resonate with this reading and you want to know more about the energy surrounding your person, what's in your person's environment, I'll also leave the link to the extended pinned at the top of the comments and also in the description box. If you're new to this channel, please drop a like and a subscribe. And if you're returning, thank you for your continuous love and support. Universe Spirits and Guides, this reading is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. What do we have for Pisces, please? The overall energy on the bottom of the deck is the Two of Cups. Water energy, like yourself. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Pisces, you have a soulmate around you. You do. This person loves you. You love them. It's not one-sided. It's equal. This is a soulmate. You've known this person for many lifetimes, too. And this person could also be a different race from you. It's just, it's equal. It's mutual love. And it's your strongest energy. So this is good. This is a really good way to start. At the heart of the matter, we have the Six of Cups, more water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like you met someone who's from your past life or your recent past, or there's just a reminiscent feeling with you. You feel like you've known this person before. You guys have, you guys have dealt with each other in many different lives, all right? And in your surrounding energy is the Queen of Pentacles, an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a very loving person. Whoever you're connecting to is a very loving person, whether they're a mom or a dad to other kids. This person is very loving and likes to take care of people. This is a very patient energy. This person could also have their own business or just, they're very stable and grounded and dependable. You have a really reliable person around you. And in your blockage is the Ace of Cups. More water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There is a relationship that's being delayed right now. It's stalled. It's there. It's there for the taken, Pisces, but it's not ready yet. In your foundation, we have the Ten of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. In order for this new beginning to take place, somebody has to close out a cycle already that's no longer there for them. Whether that relationship is already gone, but somebody still needs to fully heal from it, there is something that needs to be ended in order for this new relationship to take place. It's, it's, it's there. It's waiting. Somebody wants this. You want it. You both want this. But there's still somebody's past that's lingering on. In your recent past, we have the Five of Pentacles. More Earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody had to be left out in the cold. Either you had to leave someone out in the cold or the person you're dealing with had to leave somebody out in the cold in order for this relationship to begin. All right, so this this is still being closed out right now. There's a key on that person's door. So this person wasn't completely shut out yet. However, it's in the process. On your mind is judgment, a second chance, a decision needing to be made, a reconciliation. There's a possible reconciliation with someone from your recent past. And that's possibly what's delaying this new relationship. I feel like someone from your past wants another chance with you. And this is also scorpionic energy. Somebody you left out in the cold, even though you didn't completely shut the door out on this person, you're trying to end it with them so you can have this new relationship. But this new relationship is being delayed because of this other person wanting another chance with you. You have a choice between two people. You do. You have a choice between two people. And why not? Pisces are so lovable. You have a choice between one person and the other one being your soulmate. But which one's your soulmate? That's the question you need to ask yourself. And with you being one of the most intuitive signs of the zodiac, this should be easy for you. You're very intuitive. But sometimes you need an unbiased third party to intervene and give you some guidance. And that's probably why you're watching tarot readings right now, Pisces. In your near future, you have the Seven of Pentacles, Earth Angie, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You're going to be waiting for this new relationship to bloom into a very beautiful relationship. All right? Whatever you're waiting for, you're not waiting in vain. Whether this is waiting for a, 
person from your past to, you know, develop into something new and have a second chance, or you're waiting for this other relationship that's being delayed because of this past person getting involved. How you're being perceived right now, Pisces, as the King of Pentacles. You're the husband of the Zodiac, regardless of gender. Somebody's looking at you in a very stable way. They see you as someone that they can commit to. And now I have a true pair. I now have King and Queen of Pentacles. This is a very grounded relationship, a very long-term relationship potential. You are being viewed as someone reliable. You may have your own business. You just, you're someone that someone can make sense with. This could lead to the Ten of Pentacles. That's how you're being viewed. How you're viewing your person as the Eight of Pentacles. You could have met this person at work. But the Eight of Pentacles is signifying that you're looking at this person, wanting them to make effort. This is Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So maybe you might be giving this past person another chance if they make more of an effort with you. But you have another person here. There's another energy here. In your hopes and fears, you're hoping to walk away. You're hoping to walk away from that past person to have this new start. You are conflicted, Pisces. You have a choice to make. This is more your energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And in your possible outcome, you have the Six of Swords. You're moving on to calmer waters. You're restoring balance. Whatever was in your past, you don't want to deal with it anymore. You want to move on and have a fresh new start. But it it remains the same. You have somebody who's going to fight for you. Somebody wants you, and it's blocking this new relationship that you've got going on. You have to fully walk away from somebody, and I feel like you are. Let's clarify. Five of Pentacles on the bottom. You need to leave someone out in the cold for good. That time there's no key right there. Can I get two on the Ten of Swords in Pisces Foundation? Can I get two on the Ten of Swords in Pisces Foundation? Six of Swords. You moving on to calmer waters. You don't want to deal with this person. They could have been someone that you lived with or had a family with, or you guys had a strong partnership at one point. You have moments where you miss them. Six of Cups, you are missing them. However, I feel like they didn't make an effort with you, so you had to end it. Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They weren't making a strong effort. This person from your recent past wasn't making a strong effort, so you had to end that partnership. You had to end that partnership and move on to calmer waters. All right, let's dive deeper into this new energy you're dealing with. Can I get two on the Queen of Pentacles? Who's this Queen of Pentacles energy? Who's this Queen of Pentacles energy? Ah, I got cards flying everywhere. This person gives you wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. You want to offer this person something with the Page of Pentacles, more Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But you might have to be cold and detached to somebody else. Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Let me get the card that fell on the floor. You're wanting to communicate with this person, Eight of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But you need to cut somebody else out, King of Swords. You may be communicating with this person that you're cutting somebody out in order to not allow this Ace of Cups to be delayed anymore. You want to offer this person something. You want this Ace of Cups to go from sideways to upright. You want this Queen of Pentacles, regardless if it's a guy or girl, you want this Queen of Pentacles energy because they make you happy. Can I get two on the judgment? Why is judgment on Pisces mind? Why is judgment on Pisces mind? You want to end this, but your past person wants a second chance. But you're like, no way, Jose. Capricorn energy. They serve, they suffer the consequence. You guys, this is connecting. 
you want an ending with this person they need to suffer the consequences for what they did to you maybe they cheated on you maybe they hurt you or, or maybe they lied or was manipulative but this person wants a second chance and I feel like you're not giving it to them because you want this new person you have a new offer you want to deliver a new offer to somebody else there's somebody else you want and you want a brand new beginning but it needs to happen after you end something with somebody else with this ten of swords energy you need to end that completely before you can have this new relationship can I get um, two on the eight of cups I this is this is totally connecting you guys I'm clarifying the eight of cups you are walking away from an ending you are transforming with Scorpio energy you still have nine lives you're having a new beginning with somebody else you're manifesting a new beginning with somebody else after you go through your healing process and you could be connecting with a Leo or an Aquarius you are walking away from a toxic relationship you needed to close out that cycle completely before you can move on to karma waters and you did whoever this past person is they are trying to get back into your good graces but they have to suffer the consequences for what actions they did and I'm feeling it was something bad either they cheated on you or they abused you or were an alcoholic and abused you when they were drinking or they were mentally emotionally abusive or they were just very toxic they were very codependent possessive but you ended it you're not giving this person a second chance with that judgment as you're not you are sealing the coffin this whole reading is connecting this past person who's in the out in the cold right now you're giving them the the pink slip scanned and delivered to everybody they know they didn't make an effort with you you miss them you do because you guys had a strong partnership you guys may have been married or had kids together or this was a long-term relationship that lasted at least four years there was stability but it 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 crumbled when they stopped giving you the the effort that you deserved and you ended it you had to choose yourself you have a soulmate energy that you want a relationship with and that relationship was delaying it until you moved on to karma waters and now you're getting your soulmate you're getting your soulmate and look on the bottom it's the queen of pentacles again you're 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 getting your queen of pentacles regardless of gender and regardless if it's a earth sign and you're going after what you want queen of wands leo sagittarius aries energy boom no more juggling no more juggling a decision you are balancing it out you are restoring balance pisces let me get three romance angels and if you resonate with this i'll dig deeper into your new person in the extended can i get three romance angels for pisces overall message you have a new love you do new love is anywhere from zero days to three years or reconnecting with someone from your past who you've had a break from but you're moving on to calmer waters this is the six of swords energy you gain this is your outcome the six of swords you're moving on from your past person and you're heading towards new love let me get the cards that fell and you need to keep an open mind this new person could be different from what your usual type is they could be a different race a different age have a huge age gap a different cultural background you need to be open-minded and just recapture your playfulness with this person this person could be a Leo because I always see the playful card as the sun all right Pisces that was your reading you have a past person that's fighting for you back but you gotta close out that cycle in order to have this new relationship you can't have this new relationship with that past person still lingering on around around you somewhere but I feel like you're closing that out you are because you're going after someone who's really stable and this is your soulmate energy to have the king and queen of Pentacles with the, the two of cups this is a strong dynamic duo all right so I'm gonna focus more in your on your person in the extended but if this is where I leave you hit like hit subscribe share 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 if you like the book of personal reading the link to my website is in the description box and in top of the comments bass into the tarot .com. later Gators